Hi, everyone, and welcome to our YouTube channel. We are, as always, your hosts, Arne and Carlos. And we are doing the crochet and knit along, the spring along. The sp spring, spring along. Spring along. <laughs> That's what we're calling our knit along and our crochet along because we don't want to exclude anyone. So all crocheters and all knitters are welcome to join us for this wonderful time spent this spring crocheting flowers like this and making the different knitted blocks like this. Yeah. And we'll next week, I think we will show you what we are trying to do with the blocks this time. Yeah, so there's a dedicated episode for the knitted blocks and today is going to be the final uh, crochet episode. I think this is the one everybody has been waiting for, how to join the flowers so together. So I should do it slowly this time. So you should do it slowly slow. because we are going from this to this and more. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> you do it all the time. I know, I love okay. saying that. And uh, yeah. also, we just want to make you aware that we've got a Facebook group. I think you... maybe if you wait with that, and I can start the crocheting because it, it sometimes we get this awkward, quiet silence. Silence because I say everything we, in the beginning. If and you then... start to crochet, you don't say anything. Yeah. Uh, let me explain first, and then you can talk. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And don't start crocheting. Okay. No. I won't start crocheting. Listen to me now. I will listen. Watch me carefully. Can I go on my iPhone? No. No. Okay, so I'll just listen. <laughs> so when we join the flowers, we do that on the sixth round, the last round of yeah. the background color. And that's the round we started on last week, isn't it? That was the one we finished or almost finished. Yeah, that's what week, I mean. But it's this one. I'm going to finish it now because then you can see how we join. Mm -hmm. And you see all the flowers, they meet like one flower meet the other one only in one place. Mm. These two meet in this place. And the, this one is now meeting this one and this one in this in place. In that place, yeah. So two flowers have one place where in they common, meet. Yeah. In common, yeah. Okay, so let's sh show you how we finish this one. So now we, if we put this one in this corner, you start you have with the, the chain, uh, sorry, the four trebles, and then there will be chain three. But now since you're joining, you chain one, mm -hmm. then you go to the corner with the two groups of trebles, and then you make a single crochet around that chain and then you chain one mm -hmm. and then you go back and do the treble in that same place on the flower you know you're now joining so now they are stuck together on one point Now we're going to get the complainer saying that you're going too fast. So but for all of you, and you can yeah, for, for all of you upset because Arne is going too fast, there is a little wheel, a settings wheel. You click on that and then you can select the speed and you can really slow him down. So don't worry about that. It's all okay. Okay, are you finished? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the middle of the joining car. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, Please forgive me. Oh, you Please. Forgive me. I forgive you. Thank you. So there's a group, two groups with trebles. Okay. Okay, so chain one and... And then you let it go. And I go in there and I bring the yarn out and I make Pull chain it in again. Ah, oh, cool. And then you come to the place where you should have the double crochets. So you make your four double crochets. Crochets. This is slow. Yeah, I agree. And then one. And, and then you let, let it, go. it go. And you go into this hole, take the yarn up like this, and you make one more. Mm -hmm. And now you're to back in this corner where you should have the trebles. So you do the four trebles 
like this. And now there should be a chain of three, but you are now joining around where these two were crocheted together in the corner. So you make one chain, then you go to the hole between those two flowers and you make a, a double crochet, no, a single crochet, sorry, and then a chain. And then you turn the work again to make the second group of trebles in that corner. Very nice. And then they are joined. Then, then you have joined the first flower and started on the second. I can just finish this and put it down so you can see from the back what I'm doing. So now you see this, these two met in this place. And now I'm going to do the same with these two. So this way you just crochet mm. everything together as you finish the okay. sixth round. Now you can tell yeah, your story. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Because Am I now, allowed now, to now, talk now? Now I can just finish this and you can tell your story. Okay, so the first story I want to tell you guys is that we have a Facebook group. And the Facebook group is going to be open for a month. Now that we have completed uh, the whole uh, tutorial on how to crochet the flowers and what we'd love it for you guys to do is go in there and share your progress with us. Make sure to hashtag Arne Carlos and Arne Carlos Spring and you can do that both on Instagram, Facebook, you can do it on the Facebook group, you can do it on your regular Facebook page, your Instagram, wherever you want to do, just tag us and that way we will be able to follow the progress. We can't wait to see your color combinations. We can't wait to see what your flower things are going to be looking like and whether you're going to be doing a big blanket, whether you're going to be doing the little octagonal thing that we've done here. Uh, we just want to see whatever it is you're doing and we also want to see your blocks. We've got all these lovely blocks in all these really nice felted tweed colors that really give it a certain, I don't know, it's like a twist of you know the colors mm -hmm. are really specific and we want to see your colors as well so make sure to tag make sure to hashtag and when you sorry and when you do you become eligible to a prize that we're going to select one random winner and we're going to come in one day uh, out of the blue i guess and uh, <laughs> tell you guys it's probably going to be done during a sit in it for a bit yeah. uh, we're going to give you uh, the time now, you know, while, we, while you're in your Facebook group, you're chatting for like this month. So by the end of the month, uh, we're going to let you, um, we're going to let you know if you want or not through a... As soon sit as in we it for come out of the blue. Yeah. First you have to come out of the blue. Yeah, in a sit in it for a in bit. In a sit in it for a bit, from yeah. somewhere in the world. So at one point we will announce the lucky winner and contact the winner by either Facebook or Instagram. And yeah, you will be eligible to win this uh, lovely little knitting mill um, that we have here, right? For iCord on the go. For an iCord on the go. Here is the packaging. This is from Prim. It is a really lovely little practical tool. You can take it with you wherever you go because it is so little and you know, you can put it in your bag and just <laughs> keep it there. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then whenever you need to do your eye cord, you just crank it up yeah, like this. That's, that's something you probably suddenly you feel this urge to I, need an eye cord. I just have to make an eye cord right now. And you're well, like, maybe you're like stuck in traffic or maybe you're in the airport. Excuse or, me, but I have a I just story. Need to eye cord. I have a story based on real life. So we were in a store <laughs> in the UK somewhere. Arna sees this. Yeah, this yarn called uh, tinsel. Tin, 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 tinsel, tinsel. Yes, and Arne said, "Oh, I want to knit eye cord to make garlands for Christmas." Now, if you would have had this, I couldn't have used it because it's hairy and it's clearly it says. Doesn't this say you shouldn't use hairy yarn? Well, it doesn't matter. My point being that it doesn't say you should. Maybe we should try. Yeah, but anyway, Arne, my point is you're laughing at me saying that who needs suddenly feels an urge to do an eye cord? The answer is you. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, because when we were in that <laughs> store, suddenly you were doing the eye cord like crazy because you want to... We wanted... have so many of those lengths. Yeah, tensile. and they are awful. No, I love them. They're beautiful. <laughs> the but, colors are... But we haven't are... tried with that one. No. 
We should try. But anyway, so I think you should take it back. Some people do have an urge to suddenly I, do I take it back. Yeah. yeah. And as I was saying uh, in a previous episode, you can put together your blocks and uh, and make a pillow, right? And then you could do an I-cord edge to go around the Which pillow. Which is beautiful. It's nice, yeah. We highly recommend yeah. I-cords around pillows. Of course. What if we frame this one with I-cord? Yeah, you we could do, do that as well. So you could do you could use the I-cord for a lot of things. So anyway, this is yeah. the price, and uh, we were gonna we are gonna announce the winner out of the blue in about a month, um, and we will announce it in the Facebook group, and we will announce it on our Facebook and our Instagram, and through our newsletter yeah. and through sit in it for a bit. So stay tuned uh, and see if you are the lucky winner. Suddenly, I got the urge to I cord right now. I told because you. maybe you can weave it in yeah. as an edging. Exactly. Okay. So anyway, did you did you finish okay, up? Okay, it's your... finished. So now these two, this flower is joined to these two. And it's joined in four places. I so three three places. Four places. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Actually, it depends on how you count. Yeah. Could be three. Could be three, three as well. And three. But there are actually four points mm. to the flower. So this is a very nice way to join flowers. Yeah. So this now. Was not planned you see so maybe you want to have the same color as the background. Yeah it could be the same color or it could be a mashup of many different yeah. colors. I do I do have to say I love the flowers with a dark background. I think that is really nice. Yeah. And but then again when you see this one here with a lighter background it does look completely different, yeah. doesn't it? You can have any any background. Mm. So Yep, so, so that was the uh, you have to join these and make one of this for another you one, yeah. because we need to have yeah, in the car. In the car. So yeah, so, this was the crochet uh, along. We hope you've enjoyed this, and we hope that now we've clarified everything you needed to know, especially about how to join. If you are a new beginner, we highly recommend that you go back and look at all the other episodes because there's a lot of great techniques and things to learn here. And as you've seen throughout these five weeks, it is actually really easy to uh, to do the flowers, yeah. and it is not as hard as you'd think to join them together. So please start this project now, and you know. Maybe in mm. a few months, you will have a nice little blanket to put on your bed. The easiest thing is to join them. What yeah. takes most time is the petals. Mm -hmm. Because there are five trebles. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> we are going to leave you now. This is the end of our crochet along. Uh, however, our knit along is going to be last it's gonna last until next week and uh, we haven't revealed uh, this week's uh, block but we've got it here it is a lovely little uh, square with an eight leaf rose and it's surrounded by four hearts and you can download this uh, at arnecarlos.com go to the blog and you can download it there for free and next week arne we have a very exciting uh, grand finale yeah we're going to show you what we have started on with the blocks and what you, and how you can actually accomplish it as well and how you can create a totally new ufo that you didn't know you needed <laughs> until you see it you don't want to miss that you're going to be blown away because it's awesome right yes so arne uh are you happy with the results so yeah, far i think i'm going to frame it with the uh, do double crochets oh so no i cord maybe not on this one maybe not on this one we'll see okay i'm happy yep so how about some formalities? If you like our videos, put your thumbs up and put on the notifications if you are... What are you laughing at? No. If you're a subscriber. <laughs> and that's it. How about the mailing put, list? Put yourself on the mailing list because then you know everything. Yeah, and you can get <laughs> patterns at arnecarlos.com in, in our shop. <laughs> and the blocks, you can download them for free on our blog. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you again for the finale of the Knit Along uh, in one week's time. You don't want to miss that. Bye. Bye. See you.